Hello again, and welcome back to another episode of AFAF Tech. Today, I'm going to do something a little, a little cool, I guess. So S Steam has their own version of in-home streaming now, kind of to compete with Stadia and stuff that, that Xbox is going to do, uh, which they're all cool. I, it, it actually has, a, uh, it has its own spot in the uh, gaming world. So I already tried out the uh, Steam in-home streaming from my PC all the way into the living room, the uh, pink PC, which no longer has a GPU in it because I sold it to Mike. And that PC is only running a 3470 on the uh, integrated graphics, so uh, you can't really game on it anymore. It's pretty much for watching YouTube. So today what I'm going to do, we're going to stream Doom to this old laptop. Now this thing literally only has, it's like a Celeron D, it's probably got like 4 gigabytes of RAM, uh, chipset integrated graphics, so uh, not even really an actual GPU. And I'm going to do it over Wi-Fi. So uh, let's get started with this. So the first thing I'm going to do with this laptop, obviously is... Uh, well, turn it on. This thing's slow. Did I mention that? Slow old laptop. All right, so right here we have our Intel Celeron 925 uh, Penryn. It's 45 nanometer. It's the oldest, largest CPU in the house. Uh, let's see, it's 2.3 gigahertz. Memory, four gigs. DDR2, I apologize. <laughs> running at 399. Obviously none of these games are installed onto this machine. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to pause folding at home because I'm yeah, always running folding at home and now I'm going to open up Steam on my PC. So it's showing immediately the games on here. Right there. Stream. So generally what I had read is you go into settings and in settings, you have all these account, family, in-game, interface, downloads, cloud, music, broadcasting, remote play, shambler, connected. All right, so I'm going to do this in the best way that I can think of doing it. We're going to have Doom on this screen, and we're going to have Doom on this screen. All right, so gamepad installed, Steam is installed, no games are installed on the laptop. So literally what I'm going to do is click stream. Welcome to Steam Ready Play, Remote Play. You're about to run a burp, 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 burp. Okay. <coughs> preparing, preparing. They're syncing up. The big PC is loading up Doom. It's probably going to take a minute on the laptop. It's thinking about it. So the big PC is already running Doom. There we go. So this is going to be Doom. 1440p. Ultra settings. Like nightmare settings. And uh, yeah, it's maxed out. Some controller input. Do some arcade. This is pretty dope. There's no possible way in hell that this laptop could do this without this service. Press A to continue. So everything feels almost completely native. So you can see it's a little quicker on the big screen. But overall, we're running at 60 frames per second. It does feel slightly laggy, like my movements almost feel a little, a little delayed. A little watery is all I can think of calling it. 
There's definitely a little bit of lag going on here in terms of input. But in terms of what I'm seeing, it's very, very stable. It works. So with fast sync on and V-Sync off, for some reason it locks it at 60. But I'm going to show you the settings I'm actually using to stream this. You can see right here, OpenGL, resolution scale, light quality, shadow quality, self-shadow, directional occlusion, decal, decal, particle quality, everything. Everything's on ultra. It won't let me go above ultra. And video. See, 1440 with 2560. V-Sync is off. T-S-S-A-A, -A, eight times. Motion blur, everything's on. So there. You could run Doom at ultra settings, 1440p, on your main PC or any other game and stream it to something that should not be able to play. Uh, this, I don't even think this thing could play um, Don't Starve. This, this laptop struggled with Don't Starve, but it can play Doom at Ultra. So thanks for watching, and uh, you know, like and subscribe and ring the bell. And then, uh, yeah, I'll keep making more content depending on what it is, whether it's music or it's uh, Thanos' butt or uh, loquats or cats, because, you know, got to have the cats. That's what she's been doing this whole time. Anyways. See you in the next video. Later.